going on guys i'm on the way to another no he call brand new customer um guys i don't know this is like kind of like a second opinion type of call this customer has a heat pump and he said that the last company recommended replacing the heat pump but they didn't really give him a descriptive reason as far as what was wrong and why they recommended replacing the heat pump so guys i don't know what's going on there but i'm almost there right now let's take a look and i'll see y'all when i get inside peace all right guys I just got here. All I did was take the panel off. This is a Ream heat pump, 2005. And guys, real quick, the customer said that another contractor came out. Initially, the fan wasn't, nothing was working at all. This is a no heat. Did he have an air handler, a downflow air handler and a heat pump out here? Um, he said that the other company, he did something to fix the fan, but he couldn't get the outside unit running. And the out, other company recommended replacing the heat pump. Now, right now the breaker is out. Well, the breaker inside the disconnect is flipped to off. Um, right now my fan is running inside. And I see my defrost board right here. I don't hear my contractor pull down. Guys, I got a good feeling of what's going on here, but I want to show this on camera here. I got a feeling that this unit is flat on charge, but first I want to check to make sure that um, the contacts between R and Y is closed. I want to make sure that my thermostat is sending power to the wire wire for this contact to cool to get energized. But let me get my meter. I need both of my hands. I'll be right back. Let's look at this. So I was moving my thermostat wires out the way. To make sure I can make sure everything's wired up out here with my low voltage and listen to this I'm gonna take the casing off that contact the coil and see if my coil is pulled in by me moving this wire so hold on guys let me open this up I'll be right back hmm. so guys look at this this is my crankcase heater wires that's unusual. But guys, let me check from R to Y. Let me make sure I at least got 24 coming out here. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm just checking my R to Y. And I'm getting 24 volts. This is telling me either that thermostat's not calling or something's miswired inside because I should have zero volts between R and Y on a call for heat. And right now I'm testing this in heat mode, but yeah, I gotta backtrack this. Let me pack this up and let's go inside. Guys, as a cliff note, even if this unit was off on low pressure or high pressure, my R to Y will still be closed, but the inner circuit will be open. So I will get zero volts between R and Y, but I wouldn't get anything on a common circuit because Guys, remember, it starts from R to Y, but it goes through all your safeties and then it comes back to common. So, by me not getting any, well, by me getting 24 volts between R and Y, I know I got to start going back. I got to trace back to make sure everything's hooked up right. Now, if I was getting zero volts between R and Y, then, and I was getting, let's say, 24 volts from Y to ground, then that is a good indicator for me to start outside and figure out from Y, from the Y terminal or the Y wire, what's going on with my low voltage safety circuit. So, all right, let me go inside. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Inside, for some reason, my yellow wire wasn't connected. So I reconnected my yellow wires and my contactors pulled in. Let me put my wire nuts back on. And Let's start this unit up. And I'll put the casing back on that contact during a second. Hold on guys, let me check out this fan motor for a second, hold on.
Guys, let's turn this on and see what's going on. I just had to turn that off real quick. Huh. Is that our reversing valve clicking like that? Interesting. Hold on guys, let me look at the schematic and let's, I'll turn my disconnect, I took my disconnect out and let's look at the reversing valve here. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to pop the top. I wanna trace this back from the valve all the way back to the board. I'll see y'all in a little bit, hold on. Hmm. I hear my contact to de-energize and energize just off me touching the reversion valve wires. Let me take the other, I gotta take the lower casing off this unit. Hold on guys. Hey guys. I got my breaker off inside and outside. I didn't want that contactor to keep opening and closing like that. But check this out. This is what I was touching that was opening and closing the contactor. And guys, this is just my reversing valve wires coming from the board. Now, it's either the reversing valve or the board but guys what I can do is I can wire nut my reversing valve to O from the thermostat wires and see if it works temporarily bypassing a board but if that doesn't work if it does the same thing without the board connected then we might just have a bad reversing valve but I've never seen a reversing valve open and close like that unless it was something wrong with what the wires are connected to, like a bad board or something. Usually if these reversing valves go bad, it will either stick for heat or stick for AC, meaning you'll have the AC running instead of the heat, or you'll have heat running instead of the AC. But yeah, how that solenoid was clicking like that, I thought maybe something was, <laughs> something was stuck in the motor. That's pretty crazy. But all right, guys, what I'm going to do is I got to get some wires. I'm just going to wire my reversing valves wires to um, W2 in common and I want to see if this does the same thing without the wires going to the board alright alright let me get what I need I'll be right back alright guys I just had a brain fart I actually didn't have to do anything I didn't have to hot wire the reversing valve wires I just remember guys the reversing valve I looked at the thermostat, this reversing valve only gets energized on a call for uh, AC, so if I wanted to test this unit without the reversing valve energized, I just had to unplug it from the board, and guys, that's what I just did, and no clicks, and everything is running. At this point, guys, I know at a minimum my defrost board is shot, um, but this is an R22 heat pump, so I'm definitely going to bring this up to the customer's attention and see what they wanted to do here i mean we can get a new defrost board but this is once again an older heat pump and that downflow air handler inside is pushing the same age 20 years so guys it's cool that we found somewhat of a of a solution here as far as to this problem but like i said longevity is the biggest thing moving forward like i said this customer cares about you know minimizing breakdowns we can do a board and also do a maintenance but i'm also going to give them the option of just replacing a unit and see what they want to do but yeah guys there you have it nothing was working so we basically wired it up correctly and as soon as we wired it up correctly we found our heat pump chat wire. we have we found our reversing valve energizing and de-energizing and sure enough I have to make sure all our wires were okay, nothing was pinched, nothing was rubbing against each other. We found that the defrost board was turning our reversing valve on and off. So, 
There you have it, guys. I'm going to, I got to call the supply house to get the price of their new board. And I got to put together the proposal. And we'll go inside and we'll see what this customer wants to do. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll see you on the next one.